single game. And after an intense series, and with tip-off coming right up, we've got just enough time to hear from the sideline. Alley for the Thunder. Fires from deep. They get it back. Outside Giddy. Fires the three. And another shot. Oh, persistence pays off as they finally hit a shot. Well, you love the persistence on the offensive glass. All about effort right now. Here's Dub. He takes it in. And that one goes in as he's fouled. It'll be three points if he converts the free throw. And there's the lob. Second chance shot. Three shots, three baskets. Great efficiency so far. I love this approach. Getting him involved early, and it's already paying off. They know that if this guy goes off, their chances of winning rise exponentially. And this kind of six slam is just one of the reasons this team is in charge of this game right now, B.A. You know, there's an edge the way they play and a confidence they're not afraid to show. There's the AT&T 5G slam can capturing the moment. Here we go, one-on-one. -on -one. And he dunks it down. I almost can't believe what I saw. Incredible. I'm speechless, man. I'm speechless. For Oklahoma City, they've gone one for three so far. Time called here. The Thunder decide. And there's the rejection. Here's Whitehead. And that's good. His first bucket of the game. Oklahoma City's got to hurry. they got to get up a shot. And whether it's the defensive effort or just bad offense, they're holding their opponent to a very low field goal percentage. Inside. Shot is good by Goodwin. Look at that in between game. He's very confident in the mid range. Here's Dub. Oh, yes. The turnaround. 11 points in the game. Here's Dub. He buries it from three. Well, the advantage they have right now. Here's Dub. He's got 14. Over Poole. And the basket by Dove. He's got 16 from deep. And it's Whitehead with a rebound. We all know he's a good shooter. But from that distance, uh, I don't think so. Boy, we're seeing it more and more. Guys looking to create additional space by stepping back. I mean, that's a huge advantage for them in this game. Offensively, they took care of the ball. And defensively, they forced a number of miscues. And it's Dub. Dub of creating just enough separation to hit the shot. Well, to me, that's about skill overcoming size. And how about the fearlessness of the offensive end? Wow! That type of finish is just deflating right now for a team that's trying to make a comeback. Ouch. That's certainly a big-time finish right there. It was one big exclamation point, or maybe even a question mark. Second quarter, and we're just over a minute in. From deep three-point range. Oh, the Jesus. Thunder, another three. And they're in. Josh Giddy. From the inbound, driving to the basket. Filthy. I mean, just the arena is stunned. He's got a deep bag of tricks to dig into. It's Giddy on the wing. Lots of room. And it's the Prophet with a rebound. Boy, he'll usually knock it down if he's left that wide open. Just comes up empty. Here's Dub. Pass to Whitehead. Puts up a three. Drops in the three. Perhaps the most important thing is everyone raves about his character and his coachability. And the basket by Dub. Three of five since the beginning of the second. Pass to Poole. Let's it fly from 18. Taylor with a rebound. Listen, if you're that wide open, you have to take the shot, even if it's not your favorite. As of this moment, they look absolutely... No. Got a piece of it. Having another steal. And that's his sixth steal of the night. Imposing his will at the defensive end. You gotta love it.
of it. And I think that play tells you everything you need to know. They're simply playing at a higher level, getting a steal. Just Alexander. It's stolen away. Closing in on four minutes played here in the second quarter. Dub. And the bucket counts, and he is on his way to the line. He'll try to make it a three-point play. Shooting for East Rutherford. Well, it's going to take something special now to get him back in this game. Unfortunately, it just doesn't seem like it. Gilgis Alexander passes to Giddy. Here's Johnson. Shot to stop the run. It's tipped. And he recovers it. Four on the clock. Picked it. Here's Dub. Give him 31 now. Releases from 15. Six to shoot. Here's Taylor. Whoa! Oh, oh and that was no question. 121 left to play in the second quarter. Back to Poole. Laid it in with a nice touch off the window. Poole's got four points in the quarter. You have to be accurate there. Very little room for error passing on the interior. Here's Dub. Gilgis Alexander defending. And the basket by Dub. You want to talk about a perfect performance? He hasn't missed a shot all night. Incredible. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. Not a lot of room. Got a piece of it. They retain possession. Basket's good. There's 39 seconds left in the second quarter. Here's Dub. Gilgis Alexander defending. And the basket by Dub. What an aggressive minder making a change here. Getting themselves to the line this quarter is a good way to get their offense rolling. Passed a good one. Here's the profit. Here's Dub. Gilgis Alexander defending. Here's Taylor. Trains the triple. Give him eight points now. He's been playing great unselfish basketball. Really putting the rock in the hands of the right shooters. And he has shown a terrific feel for how the defense is playing him and then taking advantage of that. <laughs> this is just fun. These teams are trading threes back and forth. Well, that three-point shot just gives you four. so much room to opt. East Rutherford has gone 4-5 or five from outside the arc in this one. And it's the Prophet in at the four spot. So that's who Darvin Ham starts the second half with. Yeah, that one's cool. Well, all night he has made an impact at the offensive end. Now he's trying to shut the door. And we just had to see that mobile one drop there. Using his strength to power through contact. Here's Dub. Here he goes. And that one is hammered home. Wow. I'll tell you, such an advantage having a playmaker who can get up to the rim and finish. Now that is what every team wants. Well, you love it. Fearless, aggressive, leaving no doubt whatsoever. And that one's good. Gilgis Alexander. Gilgis Alexander's got 16 points. Because Shea Gilgis Alexander has an array of moves, this guy can get going offensively. He's starting to cook a little bit. Again, Oklahoma City. He's trying to will this team back into it, doing all he can offensively. Pass to Dub. Here's the Prophet. Out left to the wing. Here's Whitehead. He's got five. There's the double team with Gilgis Alexander. Taylor hits the three-pointer. The Thunder have gone three of three in the second half. Down low. And he takes the fantastic lead pass up strong for the slam. Well, known for being a terrific passer, he shows you right there. Case in point. Here's Dub. With the fadeaway. Here's the Prophet. Sends it home from three points. 
Here's Taylor. Giddy defends. Passed a good one. Here's Dub. And it's good. Fought through. And he jams it home with authority. Did you slay? For East Rutherford, they've gotten all six of their shots to fall. Talk about a perfect start to the half. Here's Goodwin. Here's Dub. He's got 42. Here's Taylor. Sinks the tray. 14 points for him. And yet from him, but that's likely to change. And you never want to give a shooter like him a clean look. A minute 31 left in the third quarter. And he takes that one up and powers it through. Good first. Shooting for Oklahoma City. Ooh. Taking two shots. And he makes both free throws. So it's the home team now. Here's Dub. Releases. Hold the shot a little left. The bounce goes his way, though. Johnson passes to Giddy. Again, no good by Oklahoma City. Oh, man, he can't get anything to fall. You can feel his frustration. He is trying to shoot his way out of it, and it might be better for him to pass the basketball at this point. Pass to Poole. Fades. That one a tad offline, but it drops in for him. Poole's got 10 points in the game. Guys, there is no doubting the passing ability of Josh Giddy. Pretty low. Fourth. Very pretty alley-oop. Save that one. I want to watch it again. Awesome. East Rutherford has gone 7 of 9 from three-point range so far. <laughs> this guy is putting on a clinic for the people. And I'm shocked. I can't believe he pulled that off in a real game. Ooh, a great look there. Brought to you by the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Oklahoma City has gone 5 of 12 from three-point range tonight. Shoots from the right block. And again, it's Oklahoma City. Here's Dub. Passed a good one. Oh, a clear foul there. They've had a slight leg up on the boards and a big leg up on the scoreboard. Here's Dub. Yet another bucket. <laughs> My goodness. 50 for the game. Just putting on a show. Sweet was that play. Pinpoint pass. Set up the alley oop flush. Here's Taylor, and the basket is good. What a great shooting! Here's Perkins. Six on the shot clock. This one for three, and it's Whitehead with a rebound. Man, that's his shot. <laughs> Maybe he was too wide open. And he drives in. Oh! And he makes no mistake. Slam dunk. I think everyone in here. For East Rutherford, they've gotten five of six shots to go in the fourth. Here's Dub. It oh, won. okay then. Now, I know he makes it look easy, but it takes incredible physical tools to pull that off. Athleticism and explosion. We've got a minute 48 left in the final quarter. To the inside. Here's Henry. That is now his seventh field goal in 10 attempts. Impressive. Woo, just selling the defense on the pump fake. Here's Dub. Gilgis Alexander defending. Here's the three. And it's good. He hits another one. And he... Here's Dub. Gilgis Alexander defending. And yes, another basket. And he set a new all-time record for single-game scoring in the playoffs. Oh, a night to remember. And for those of us fortunate enough to witness it, what I'm sure we'll never forget. 102 left to play in the fourth quarter. Oh, wow! Boom! He did At exactly the right time. Clutch play on a team level. And denied. He sends it right off the glass. 
down X from downtown. Always a bonus when points come from unlikely sources. And you can see this guy's been working on that shot. Here's Dub. And there's the drive. Two points. That one goes. With very little left on the clock, they've got a comfortable lead, and the fans are loving it. And they're getting ready to celebrate, no doubt. They know it's theirs to lose at this point. It's Kitty on the wing. There's a screen. Pass to Poole. Back to Kitty. Yes, it's good. Well, they needed this run way earlier. At some point, it's too little, too late. Yeah, but then again, this run came against a team that may have felt it had already won, and you get the sense it let its guard down. Long range from the inbound. Oh, and it's over! They are the NBA champion! What an incredible ride, culminating in a championship. What a team. This will go down as one of the great sports moments in the history of this city. And listen to this crowd. Players talk about having to tune out the noise and focus on the task at hand. This is the noise they've been waiting to hear all year long. Absolutely incredible. And look at the guys One celebrating, understanding the work, the, the sacrifice, the discipline that goes into winning a championship in this whole organization. Of course, this and incredible now we team. Send it to Adam this Silver, Larry O'Brien the trophy, of the NBA and I believe this for the trophy presentation. Your Bill Russell, Finals MVP.